The three-year Dowry Value Chain Development Project by Haifa International and Partners, dubbed Excellence Dowry Production and Productivity, ADAB, has transformed 3,500 Dowry farmers in the seven districts of Wakiso, Mitiana, Chankwanzi, Nakaseke, Nakasongora, Kiwoga, and Kayunga. So uh, this model looks at the strength of the communities and we build from what they can do best and we empower the communities. Over 25 cooperatives are in this project to utilize modern milk processors. In the past three years, revenue has increased by 64%. And that is happening because of the array of trainings and information that we've been able to provide them, but also considering the fact that we've been able to organize them the State Minister for Animal Husbandry, Lieutenant Colonel Bright Ramilama, handed over the recruitment to 25 cooperatives and reiterated on mechanization of the restrictor to meet the state productivity target. When we give you uh, tractors, make sure the tractors are maintained and actually they are doing the work they are supposed to do. Minister Ramilama disclosed that the ministry is working on policy to prohibit vending unprocessed milk. Vending milk undermines efforts to enhance value addition to dairy products. We have designed a method that will soon phase out the raw milk vending in the country. The method will, will give an opportunity for raw milk traders to trade in a safe milk. Where, they, when, it, when the, the vending equipment, is, the milk gets out, you, you dispose it off. You have no opportunity to add on water or whatever. Jessa Group Milk Processing Company assures market for milk production. But as we are modernizing production, we should also expedite the modernization of value addition and production to ensure that the products that end up in the market are safe products. Farmers appreciate the technology to produce for the market. It is because we are dealing with those of middleman. Those, those middlemen, they cannot even select the, um, the quality of milk. The equipment includes 25 fodder processing machines, yogurt processing machines, deep freezers, milk cans, shellers, packaging materials and flavors. The total cost of the equipment is 285 million shillings and farmers' cooperatives contributed 75 million shillings, which is 26%. Abdul Nasser Lubwama, UBC News.